What a difference from this to this. Tonight, dozens of homeless encampments along Dockweiler Beach have been cleared. Crews there today offering services while telling people they cannot camp on the beach. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf live at Dockweiler tonight where things are looking a little different. Matthew. Now, Christina Morrow, we're definitely seeing less tents out here tonight, but this is just the latest effort in the area to clear encampments. Pulling, pushing, and throwing. LA City workers fill truckloads of trash. The latest effort to remove homeless camps, this one at Dockweiler State Beach. They just kicked us off the beach. Say, we gotta get out of here. JoJo has lived at Dockweiler the last two or three years. And I'm not messing with nobody, bothering anybody. He's one of about 50 or 60 people Thursday told to leave. Move them to where? You know, I mean, this is a wide open beach. I don't see uh, where there's really a problem. All of these folks have received engagement and offers of services. I am not going to accept. No, we'd prefer to stay here as an answer. LA City Councilwoman Tracy Park's office leading Thursday's cleanup. Fire and tent. An area residents complained to Fox 11 about earlier this week. Prime real estate, right? I mean, you know, I would like, love to live here as well, but they need to clean it up. If we allow the problem to persist in this location, it will. We need to ban and enforce overnight camping restrictions on all of our coastlines. California Governor Gavin Newsom two weeks ago helping clear an encampment in Mission Hills after issuing an executive order empowering local governments to do the same or risk losing state funding. I'm going to redirect the money. It's not complicated. So far this week, homeless camps have been torn down in Long Beach and now Dockweiler. And how do we fix this? I would say just go get the people who want to get in housing and say, come on, let's go. What about everyone else? The ones who do refuse housing, I don't know what consequences they should pay, but I have to speak for me, man. And we just heard from Tracy Park's office tonight. She says that 20 people agreed to help. Now, each person, that means something different. Some of them, it just means starting files, while others, it means offered housing. Reporting live tonight, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News.